So I get this weird call from my BFF out on the west coast and he starts going on about what can he do with his life. I think he's finally realized that he might actually have to go out and get a job. Well, at least do something for a regular income. And he's freaking out. My childhood buddy, Titizen Kane, aka Tizzy, has been MIA from life for a while now. He was a PFC in the army and then got popped for a DUI. His BAC was a bit high on the breathalyzer, but then it was noticed he was holding too much THC. He spent time in the slammer while the cops went all FBI, CIA, and KGB on him. They were sure he had a stash of LSD and was on an experimental drug exchange program with UFOs. Anyway, I asked Tizzy, Tizzy, what's up? You sound a little wig. Ah, oh, well, you know, I sold my cars. You mean the SUV? Yeah. The BMW, the LTD, the SEL? Well, I had to, you know. They were out of hand, just part of the problem. I walk everywhere now. You're walking? Now that's a switch. Well, I think I could be watching a little too much TV. It's the flat panel LCD HD TV, right? Yeah, DVR, VOD, there's so much on, you know? And it's crystal clear, like looking through a window. And now there's all these channels sporting the ultra-high DPI. There's like USA, TNN, CNN, HBO, UPN, it goes on and on. The other night I can't sleep, so I turn on the tip. And I end up watching this World War II documentary about Hitler on a rampage invading Poland. What was his problem? He could have used some anger management. So what are you worried about? Then I click to a show that tells all about the wonders of copper. I had no idea how useful copper is. It's in everything. Then I saw this ad about something you take to soften your still. I never knew this was a problem. Then I catch a show about nightlife in China. They have these epic LED signs on the sides of buildings lighting everything up at night. Way more than Times Square. But it's in a gnarly pollution scene, like Blade Runner. When I finally doze off, I dream that this BMF flying lizard swoops down and snatches up Tonto, my four pound chihuahua, and flies off with him. All I can do is yell, goodbye Tonto, I love you man. I think I lost him till he wakes me up licking my face, wanting some food. Wow, when do you sleep? During the day, mostly, and I haven't even gotten into my video game and internet habits. I don't know, Chief. I need your help. I mean, how do I get a career or something? What did you do? Didn't you get an MBA and a PhD and stuff? Nah, I didn't do that. You know what I did. Got a GED, took an SAT, went to college. I did all that so I could start my own business get an SBA loan, set up an IRA so I'll have some dough set aside. Yeah, how do you do that? Well, then you need healthcare insurance from an HMO. When I tore my ACL, I got an MRI and they covered it, but I had to pay extra for an EKG. Wow, man, you're doing your part for the GNP. But let me ask you this. From your POV, don't you have to be a ruthless, profit-making SAB to get anywhere? I'd like a job that gives a little TLC, but I can't see myself as a male RN. The hat, the dress, the panty has, and the white shoes, it just sounds wrong. Think about it, Chief. Where do I fit in that equation? Jet on out here. Help me land a better gig than a Mickey D's graveyard manager. Maybe I'd be a good game show house, don't you think? That's not a stretch, if Howie Mandel can do it. Well, maybe I could do that. 
And I was thinking I could be on a show where I judged all the snotty judges on TV. Talent show judges, TV court judges, they're everywhere. But who's judging them? They need some honest feedback. I block out some time to fly to LA to help Tizzy out ASAP. He needs a little push off his lazy boy so he doesn't end up sitting in it out on the sidewalk. On the way to JFK, I ponder Tizzy's question and it makes me hungry. I stop for some KFC and wonder, what about some kind of service biz? Like a low-end B&B. Tizzy could serve FDA-approved MSG-free BLT and PBJ sandwiches. He could have an RDA of protein and other good stuff. He could play classical tunes on a sound system. BTO, ELO, REM, XTC, NXS, Run DMC, the BGs, and R&B. But maybe not. TV host could be a problem. But hell, stranger things have happened. At the airport, my flight info leaves me confused. It's in PST, not EST. Too much math. Speaking of which, I have zero dinero in my wallet and I can't find an ATM. I get the attention of the airline lady behind the counter. She smiles, but her eyes don't. What's the ETA for the next flight to LAX? Her fake smile gets bigger. All of that flight info is TBA, FAA rules. She looks me up and down, like I'm a subhuman putting out an SOS from a sinking shrimp boat and badly need a shave in an ESL course. BFD, I say. I find a seat and root around in my YSL man bag. I fish out my PDA and smartphone with GPS. I do a few cyber searches. I found out my flight is a mothballed KLM SST heading in from Tokyo via SFO and DFW. And at some unreported time, it's supposed to land here as a JAL flight, which means I can get across the country faster wrapped up as a mummy stuffed in the back of a UPS or DHL van. So I call up Tizzy. Tizzy, I say. I have to take a rain check on the career counseling trip. Eh, uh, nah. What happened, Hoss? Airline delay. But I've got some ideas for you. Yeah? You got something? Not yet. But you might want to start small, then work up to something with decent payoff potential. Yeah? I can do that. You mean work at REI? No. MTV? No. DMV? No. R&D? You'll see, you'll see. ATT? BBC? Let me get back to you. You may need a couple of 12-step programs first. NBC? USC? CSI? What about... The proceeding is a production of MarkLarsonWords.com.